networks fall into certain categories, such as roles played by the hosts, the geographical distance between them, the signal method used to communicate, and their participation. When categorising by host roles, there are two main types. The first is called peer-to-peer -peer networking. This is where each host have equal value. In other words, they will provide and consume network resources in equal measure. For example, PCA could have a shared printer and PCB could have a shared internet connection. When PCB prints, it consumes the resources provided by PCA. And when PCA uses the internet connection, it is consuming the resources provided by PCB. Because the hosts have no specific roles, integrating new hosts into the network can be problematic. This means limitations on its scalability. The peer-to-peer -peer hosts may each have a shared hard drive, which means each user can access the data on the other hosts if required or work on a common project. Peer-to-peer -peer networks are inexpensive and easy to install, which make them a good solution for small networks. However, as the network grows, problems can occur. The most obvious problem is the loss of a single host, which will result in the loss of the shared resources. Another problem is because the data is scattered around the network, it can be difficult to manage, so there is no data central control. For larger networks, a better solution is required, and this brings us to the client-server model.